Brian. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's the July 4th holiday weekend. You got to love it. Be safe. Get a lot of fireworks and still be safe. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a trippy card, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. Nothing like a July 4th holiday to get the market rocking, man. So, Dow Industrials up 328, the Nasdaq's up 202, S&P's up 57. Look at that screen, folks. So, my main screen, everything is green. There's not one. And then I drop down a little. I'll go through this, but they drop down a little. You get the dollar and the yen. That's the only thing that's red. So, uh, gold. Gold contract eight up eight dollars forty cents. What that did yesterday. That finishes ABC structure on the way down. Hit the 1900. 1902 is the A to B equals C to D. Bottom line. My take. We're going topside, man. Silver. Silver up 16 cents. Twenty two dollars ninety six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up eighty two cents. Seventy dollars. 68 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up five ticks, trading 112.09. The 30-year up 27 at 127 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up on price today. You're down 438, 102,904. The euro is trading at a price point of 109. The yen's at 144, and the British pound's at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's go to the futures first because this was just, you know, something. That, well, let's, let's, let me pull this up here first. So you can see this is just a straight line move higher. Now, let me show you something intraday because if you trade intraday, this is always a little bit tricky when you have – the S&Ps, if we got to 9 o'clock this morning, okay? Well, if you're trading the futures, it's not tricky because you could have been in the futures last night. But if you're trading the options that expire every day, it gets a little tricky. The reason being is that we were already sitting at 44.65, okay? So something that you want to look at, okay, if you, if you do trade intraday is this. I can tell you what I do. This is what I do. I go over to the DAX, because if you're trading, what happens is this. You know, the DAX, okay, kind of trades like the S&P and the NDX. And what was happening is that, you know, the DAX, bottom line, was up pretty good. And what, what I normally do is that you take the percentage that the DAX is up. This is it, and what this is all about, folks, is that you can get burnt pretty good in markets when the S&P, you know, ha like just like yesterday, S&P was up. Today, if you're just starting the day out and you're going to be in the option market, or, you know, more so the option market, okay? Um, and so the S&Ps are already up 20 points, right? It's like, oh, man, I can't stay in the middle, okay? Well, what you do, you take the percentage that the, S that the DAX is up, and then you look and say, oh, okay, hold it, man. The, the DAX out here, you know, bottom line was up. 1.1, I think. DAX. 1.26, it ended, okay? So the bottom line is, is that it can give you more confidence that we are going to go higher. You know, so I was looking at it, I says, man, I, I got a feeling this S&P wants 50 points. Now, it's like it got more than that. I'm just giving that as, as a, um, a logical way that you look at markets on a continual basis. And, of course, what you want to do is practice it yourself, okay? I've been doing it forever meaning looking at that correlation, okay? And the correlation is, is pretty solid, particularly if the markets have already run and you're talking about the holiday weekend and all of the above. That's, that's the bottom line. Qs, we're going to take a look at the Qs, the NDX 100. We get with the Qs. Qs haven't hit it yet, but the bottom line, now watch, the Qs have got an acceleration of volume happening here. You know, yesterday we did 46 million, you're at 45 million right now. 
there's going to throw, there's going to be some volume coming into this at the close. Because what you have, you got to remember what you have. You have the end of the month, you have the end of the quarter, you have window dressing, and you got July 4th. So, bottom line, you can expect more volume in there, and I expect it will run it right into the close. Gold. Gold contract yesterday. Let's, let's pull this up. Gold contract yesterday got down to 1900. You came into the strength, coming off the bottom, rejected it. You got, you know, 169,000 contracts out here today. This is saying now gold's going to move. The first move, I suspect, is going to be to 1949. Right now, you're at 1925. It's going to need some, you know, real juice to get through that area because what we had done is that we traded for, you know, basically almost three weeks at that area. You go to the GDX, and what you're going to see, they're buying. That's the bottom line. I suspect what you're going to see is that the GDX right now, that came into the, the, the strength, dramatically lighter volume. Now, we got light volume here, but the GDX is even saying that right now this thing wants to run to the $30.80, and right now you're at thirty oh one, And that's the same thing. It's going to have some flack coming in at that area, but I expect that this thing's going to move. And then uh, notes and bonds. That note and bond, you know, this basically huge trading range, what we did out here with the note and bond market, you get down to its strength, it rejected lower price out here today. It, you know, it's been a one-way move down. We just moved on the 10-year from, the, you know, the 117.25 to 111, but you can see on the other side, that's how we moved off. So bottom line, you get a rejection, you get lower price. You know, if the, the note and bond market, the 10-year will have a lot of flack at 112.29, but I expect we're going to get through it. And why? Because this dollar wants lower price, man. We take a look at the dollar, and what I expect you're going to see, the dollar got up to a price point today of 103.543, gave it up. First leg down is 101.921, and then we'll see if we get an ABC down. It's going to be interesting, so because the, the low that it's going to go after is the 100.788. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 333. Nasdaq's up 212. S&P's up 59. We're coming right back.